Greetings everybody, it's Emily from Wood Pages and Ink, and today I am so excited to finally do my May Owl Crate unboxing. This month's theme was steampunk, and the sneak peeks that I saw looked fantastic, so I'm super excited to open this. So, got my pocket knife, I'm gonna cut through the tape. Okay, this isn't working. I tried to do it so you guys could see me cutting it, but that didn't work. So, let's get the first glimpse, because I can't see anything. How does it look? Alright, I'm gonna look. That's so cool! Alright, so here is the Steampunk Owl Crate card that comes with every box, and it has all the stuff on the back, but I'm not gonna read that till the end. I made the mistake of reading it first, and it kind of killed, like, everything for me. So, doing it this way from now on. So there's a, it's got the grass, I just gotta dig through there. So the first thing I'm pulling out is a Sparks Emporium box with what looks like a deer on it. And I'm gonna open it, see what's inside. It's a ring! And it has the Clockwork Angel in it. It's actually super hard to see. Took me a second, can you tell? But that's gorgeous. I'm gonna put it on now. This is my new favorite thing to wear. I think it's resizable too. E. Ta-da! Awesome. I was actually looking at all my jewelry and I'm like, I don't have any steampunk jewelry. I love steampunk and I have no steampunk jewelry. There's something wrong there. Okay. So anything. There's another thing from the Crystal Compass. So back when they did, um... I believe it was fantasy. I got a castle. No, just kidding. That's a completely different one. Um, the very first box I got, which was heroines, I got a crystal compass necklace in there, which was an arrow in honor of the Hunger Games. So, or like Katniss from the Hunger Games. So, I wonder what's going to be in here. I'm actually super excited. It's a key! Which I will be wearing quite often because I love keys. I have, and I don't mean like a house key, I mean I have two, I have technically three, although one is technically my house key. Um, keys on my keychains, technically four because there's my car key, but my house key has a Kingdom Hearts key sleeve on it. And um, I also have a key from when my parents went to Hawaii and a key from, um, from uh, St. Louis. So I call myself the key keeper, the keeper of keys because I have so many keys. And now I have another one and it's gorgeous. Look at it. I'm like putting everything to the right of the screen or the left. I don't know what it would be to you. That's so pretty. I'm going to wear it now. Wearing all of my jewelry. I've thought about doing fandom of the month because it's a lot of fandom related jewelry. But they do a lot of fandoms that I'm not really a part of. So I didn't want to you know, hop on the bandwagon and have nothing that I can really gain from having something. It's like just barely longer than my Hunger Games necklace. Okay, what else is in the box? What else is in the box? That's so cool. Look at this massive key. You know what? I think, is it a pin? I can't tell if it's a pin or a hair clip because it's got a, I think it's a pin. It's got this little bar on the back. I'm gonna put that on a bow, maybe? Maybe I'll put it on my black one. That would look cool. Alright, what else is in here? I've been excited for these! So, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of these, but there are espionage nails in here, which I have seen on a couple of things. Um, Book Drunk in Love has, um, she, she's, she does this box. I can't remember what it was called, but it's like a very geeky nerdy box it's largely comic books I believe and she got one of these wrapping things because they're nail wraps um, for like I think they had scales on them I think it was mermaid or I don't remember but it was so cool and now we have steampunk nails and I'm so excited I haven't worn nail polish in a long time so I'm actually really really excited to do this 
I'm just super worried because these look super long and I don't have very long nails. I have to keep them short for work too. So excited! I saw these in the sneak peek and I was like, oh, I can't wait to see what they look like. These are awesome. I can't wait. Okay, let me see if there's anything else. I don't think there's anything else but the book, which looks awesome. Oh, there's this thing. So it says Barry 1860-1937 and there's Peter. Peter's hat. There's a Peter's hat. What is... Is there like a steampunk... Peter Pan book that I don't know. Okay, so I'm I am very very excited. Oh, they're doing sneak peeks now, cause I saw this on Tumblr. The next month, um, their box is royalty, and Crafted Van, who do who does the magnetic bookmarks, apparently looks like they're going to be included. I'm super excited because I mean, bookish royalty stuff has got to be awesome. Okay, so the book is Everland by Wendy, S Wendy, Wendy Spinelli. The only way to grow up is to survive. She's got steampunk ruby, and there's tattoos that look pretty. Oh my god! All right, I'm opening this. Dear Owlcrate Reader, oh, this is this is cardstock now. Dear Owlcrate Reader, Hello, I am so thrilled to share Everland with you. We've all heard the story of Peter Pan, but this is a twist on the classic childhood story with darker deeds, higher stakes, a reimagining of the original characters, and some steampunk elements thrown in for fun. Oh, and kissing. Not the thimble kind. Confu con confession. When I was a kid, I was 110% certain the book Peter Pan and Wendy were written a the book Peter Pan and Wendy was written about me. So imagine my surprise when I grew up, I really shouldn't have listened to Peter and found out that my mother actually did name me Wendy from J.M. Barry's story. That's story. It's hard to read. That right there seems enough of a reason to write a retelling of Peter Pan and Wendy. But there's more. 18 years after my mother gave me my name, I found myself working as a character actress in Disneyland in Anaheim, California. Needless to say, I fell in love with the thing, with all things fairy tale, make believe, and of course Peter Pan. What's even more exciting is that there's more beyond Everland. As you're reading this, I am working on the next book and bringing in brand new characters to our Everland cast. Through their journey of survival and love. I hope you enjoy Everland Wendy's finale. Look at these gorgeous freaking tattoos, man. They're gold and beautiful. Look at these. Look at these. Oh my god. I'm excited. This makes me so excited. I want to know where I where should I put the wings? And I don't know. I'm just excited. They're so pretty. And Okay, so on the back of this book, it says to die would be an awfully big adventure, which I believe is a quote from the actual Peter Pan. It's pretty unwrapped for the most part. This cover is gorgeous. If I saw this and like read the synopsis and found out it was a Peter Pan retelling, I would have like jumped on it. And it has the, I don't know what it's called, but the pages that are like uneven and very old storybook feeling. You guys are going to fall over if I put it there. Here, I'll push the books back a little. It's so pretty. I'm so happy. This box is awesome. Okay, so the card. Are you Team Will or Team Gem? Take your love, I'm, by the way, I'm Team Gem. All the way, now and forever. She was cute with Will, but I always shipped Gem and Tessa. Okay, anyway. Are you Team Will or Team Gem? Take your love of the Infernal Devices trilogy everywhere with this adorable ring designed by Sparks Emporium. We hope you enjoy the beautiful, beautiful skeleton key pendant necklace created just for you by Crystal Compass Designs. What secret doors will it unlock? 
We're very excited to have partnered up with the experts in geek makeup, espionage, cosmetics, and uh, it's upside down. There we go. We hope you love wearing these super cool steampunk nail wraps. You can check out a fun video tutorial of how to apply them at Penny or Will Owl Crate Nails. Up your cosplay game wearing one of these awesome metal accessories from Elope, which we sent out five very unique pieces. Which did you receive? So I got the steamy punk key. I wonder what the other ones were. I like it when they send different stuff because it kind of makes each box feel a little more personal in a way, even though there are tons of other people that get the same items. But I guess it's just, you know, I don't, I don't know. Does that make sense? Well, head over heels with the stunning minimalist art print from Creative Daffodil Studios. We love the tribute to J.M. Barry and oh, gotcha. Okay, I understand now. That I'm completely oblivious to who wrote Peter Pan. Um, and I feel that this print would look great hanging on any wall. Yeah, it would. I don't even know where I'd put it. Should I put it over here? I have like so many posters from Owl Crate, and like I have Hunger Games posters. I need a place to put them. I was gonna stick them all over there. Um, I don't know. Maybe I should put them by my bookshelf. There's lots of space over here. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Last paragraph. Step into the pages of an utterly imaginative steampunk retelling of Peter Pan with Everland. Wendy's finale is credited is has created a unique spin on the classic story: disease, airships, marauders, and more. The only survivors still living in the city of London are children, and our heroine Gwen Darling will do anything to protect her siblings. When her sister is taken captive, Gwen teams up with a mysterious boy named Pete, a sharpshooter named Bella, and a Bella. And a gang of lost boys who have been surviving in an underground city, but will it be enough to rescue her sister from the clutches of the army and the ruthless Captain Hook? We also enjoy hope you enjoy the amazing gold flash tattoos and letter from Wendy. Happy reading and thanks for being awesome. <sighs> the box is so awesome. It's it lived up to what I thought it was going to be, and I'm very happy. I'm really excited for royalty. Not as much as I was the past two months with dystopian and steampunk, but I still think it's going to be an awesome box. Ah. This is really pretty artwork too. It's kind of like a Steven Universe cross between, like a cross between Steven Universe and uh, Adventure Time. So it's a pin. I'm gonna put it on my bow and it's gonna look awesome. What if I just stuck it there? It's gonna stay. Huh, it kind of stayed. It's gonna fall, but it kind of stayed. Um, yep. It fell. One look break. It broke. Ten points to the house of whatever you belong to if you can guess where that quote is from. Okay, so that is all I have for you guys today. Um, I know not as, you know, exciting as maybe a book talk or something, but I mean, I'm excited. And look at this. Look at this book. This is a beautiful freaking cover. Look at this. I need it. And I have it, so. <laughs> um, and I'm super excited. I, I honestly can't tell you what my favorite part is. I mean, last last month, it was, um, you know, I don't even remember what last month's was, because I got so many awesome things. Flawed was definitely excellent, though, so I guess I would have to say, no, my bracelet. The tie between Flawed, the book that I got by uh, Cecilia Ahern, and um, my Mockingjay bracelet to go with my necklace. I don't wear it that often because it's kind of a pain in the butt to put on and get off because it's one of those that has like an extended chain so it fits any size wrist. And I have to wear it like the, the smallest one and it hangs off and one day it broke and I had to like fix the chain. It was a pain. But I still really love it. Um, but I can't, I don't know if it's the ring, or the necklace, or the pin, or the book. I just, or the, the nail wrappings that I can't wait to put on. <sighs> I have no idea. This box was awesome this month. You guys at Owl Crate are fantastic. And I really feel like if you guys want a bookish subscription box, this is a really good one. It's 
if I remember correctly, it's $29.99. Um, for me, it's $6 shipping, so it's $36.99. Um, but you get a whole bunch of awesome stuff. It helps small shops and also helps kind of, it spreads the word for some bigger names. Um, you know, you get some super cute things like my bracelet and the necklace and the pin. And I've gotten a whole bunch of really awesome things. So I just, if you guys are looking for a book subscription box, this is the one to do, in my opinion. There's also um, Fan of the Month, which I had talked about a little bit, that I have a friend that does. And as cute as all the stuff is, it, and it's cheaper, it's $15, I believe. Um, it, you know, if you're not a part of the fandom that you get, it just kind of... Unless you have friends with that fandom, like that are a part of that fandom, there's not a whole lot you can do with the stuff, you know? And this stuff, I mean, even if, I, I mean, all the themes are, they're not story specific. So like Clockwork Angel just happens to be steampunk, so now I have a Clockwork Angel ring. And, you know, these books are beautiful. What is going to be in next month's box? What book? I really want to know. Because so far, the books that I've gotten, I have heard nothing about, and then I pick them up, and they sound like epic, and I can't wait to read them. Um, but that's all I have for you guys today. Um, thank you so much for watching. Thank you, as always, for watching. I know I don't post that often, and I'm going to really try to do a video every Monday, Wednesday. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be doing Top 5 Wednesday this week, because... The last time I looked at the themes, once again, it was something I don't have five books to apply to. Um, I need to come up with something else to do once a week, though. Um, maybe if you guys have any ideas, let me know. I would totally take them into consideration, maybe even pick one. Um, but, like I said, that's all I have. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you again, and always, for watching. And I hope you guys are reading some wonderful books right now. I am rereading the selection series and I'm on the one so I just have the air in the crown to read because I recently got the crown um, then I can do a series discussion video and I plan on reading the crown uh, the crowns game next I almost said the crown again the crowns game next and then after that I'm probably going to dive right into Everland because this is beautiful I pre-ordered the crowns game and I got a bunch of cool stuff with it um, so if you guys want to see that I could do that on on uh, Wednesday, but it kind of feels like bragging if I do. Um, but, um, so that's why I'm reading that before reading Everland, but this book looks gorgeous and I'm excited. So anyway, um, I will see you guys next time. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and a wonderful week and enjoy reading whatever you're reading. What are you currently reading? Let me know down below. Did you like this? Are you thinking about getting an owl crate? Do you have any questions? Let me know down below. Um, and I will see you guys next time. Happy reading!